on guys? I'm Charlene Radlin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a treatment that I did to align my chakras. A couple weeks ago, I went to Modern Sanctuary in Manhattan and you can think of it as your little zen getaway right in the center of the city. They offer an array of treatments like facials, massages, pods for you to meditate in, IV therapy, oxygen therapy, hydrofacials, a bunch of different facials. I mean, literally, you can go on the website and check out an array of things and it's mind blowing to me. And also, they offer a subscription, which I think is extremely clever. Of all the things that are listed on the site, I decided that I wanted to try the seven sensory chakra bed because we know that 2020 knocked a few things out of alignment. You know what I mean? <laughs> also, look at this thing. I felt like the ancient one from Doctor Strange was gonna come down and take me into one of her inception worlds. Magic. And I'd wake up with superpowers, but unfortunately I didn't and it would have been really cool if I did. I had Aaron to guide me throughout the entire thing and it was amazing. The first thing that you do is that you pick the specific frequency you want for your experience and that frequency targets that specific chakra. Now you have the seven chakras if you didn't know what they were, I'm gonna tell you what they are. They are the crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and root. Now, it doesn't mean that the other chakras won't feel a frequency, it just means that the frequency that you do choose targets that specific one more than the other ones. And it's not like you get shocked or anything. Don't think of it as like, like crazy zapping like to your heart. <laughs> think of it almost like cell phone service. You know that your phone has service because it says it on there, but you don't actually feel anything. It's just like this invisible thing that's in the air, but it's definitely there. Does that make sense? I decided that I wanted to choose the heart chakra because 2020 plays a lot of games with my heart and I just still trying to recoup. Quit playing games with my heart. After you choose the frequency, Ed, Aaron gave me the headphones that are gonna be playing binaural beats. And you know what's crazy is that a month ago, I literally was talking to friends about binaural beats. They were educating me on the benefits that it has when it comes to sleep. Crazy, and here I am a month later doing this experience. Nuts. Now, if you don't know what binaural beats is, I'm gonna give you like a very simplified explanation of what it is. In a nutshell, without getting too technical, it's a form of sound wave therapy. Your left ear and your right ear will hear different frequency tones at different hertz, but your brain will perceive it as one single note. Now, binaural beats are claimed to help with anxiety, stress, sleep, and also better your long-term memory. Definitely worth diving into, but that'll be for a separate video. Oh, so when you get your headphones, you're actually gonna be laying on a mat and the correct term is a biomat, and that biomat will be filled with vocal cut quartz. Basically a fancy word of just saying shredded up quartz in a mat, and it's warm. And honestly, it was, when you put on the headphones, you're then guided throughout the entire experience. So you're not gonna just like go in and like slop onto the bed and then put on some headphones and then boom, there it is, binaural sounds. You're guided through it, almost think of it as like a headspace when you lay down, I don't know if you guys have done that, but headspace or one of those calm apps. When you're going through a step-by-step -step meditation, guided meditation, and actually found out afterwards, Allison, which is the owner of Modern Sanctuary, actually does all the voiceover for the seven sensory chakra and her voice was extremely soothing. <laughs> so thank you, Allison, you have a very soothing voice. Once you're all laid down and you're relaxed, Erin then pulls down the seven chakras closer to your body so that way the frequency is a lot closer and you're then transfixed to another world with these binaural sounds. The cool thing about the bed is that the bed vibrates, right? So while you're going through th throughout the experience, like imagine like a, when you're in a club and that bass is going hard, you know what I mean? It's you can feel it throughout your entire body. That's basically what was happening throughout the entire experience. The binaural sounds were like a ocean wave meets calming, soothing tones meets um, I feel like I can try to find some binaural sounds that I can just play in this video for five seconds. So here, cue binaural sounds. Like that. So I did the 30 minute experience and they also have a 45 minute experience if, I, if I'm correct with that. To be honest, I wish I did the 45 minutes. I wish I honestly had a whole hour to experience this because let's just say the 20 minute mark, I don't know exactly what time it was because I was totally like in another world, but I'm gonna just guess that it was around 20 minutes. 
I really started to feel my body relax. Now, I haven't meditated for a really long time, so it took me a lot longer. If you're a person that knows how to meditate and meditates often, you probably will be able to do it in like five minutes, like get into that meditative state within five minutes. But it did take me a little bit longer. By the 20 minute mark though, I felt completely relaxed. I actually felt a tingling sensation in my legs going all the way up to like my waist. And I just felt calm and soothed and like I was moving with the sounds that were playing in the headphones. It was just, I mean, it was incredible. I felt completely disconnected to everything around me. And to be honest, it kind of felt like the most heightened sense of a meditation that I've ever had. I feel like I just went to another world. <laughs> that was so crazy. I just want to wait here for like another five minutes. I ended up staying in that room for about 15 to 20 minutes after I was done just because I didn't want to move. I felt totally relaxed. I felt totally like at ease and I actually felt myself getting emotional at the end of the experience and that is what that was kind of what I was hoping for I really wanted something to break me a little bit and get me outside of my head because I am the type of person that I am constantly in here I'm constantly in here and it was allowing me to not be I was just there I was just present as you're we about to leave the room Aaron had actually mentioned that they have a Himalayan salt room and I was like oh my god I've always wanted to try one of those and it's been on my bucket list and she was like do you want to check it out and I was like oh my god can we can we yes That's everything is here. That's everything, yeah. Whoa, so this is, oh my god. So this is the salt room? <laughs> oh, I will um, have to in, but... Yeah. The, um... Guys, look at this room. It is beautiful. I am so glad that I waited till this moment to try this Himalayan salt room because I feel like this was like the way to do a Himalayan salt room, okay? They even ground up the salt and throw it on the floor so that way while you're walking, you're walking on the salt. Oh, actually, so if you inhaled and you like chomped into the air, you can actually taste the salt. Don't judge me. So they have two different settings for this room. They have like the normal setting of just the, of just the salt with the lights on, but then they have like what I'm gonna call the party version. And they have strips of LED lights in, embedded in the salt room that actually changes color while you're in this experience. Guys, it was mesmerizing, completely mesmerizing. I did not wanna leave. Since there was no one booked for the, for the room, we were able to, when I say we, Brian and I, we were actually able to experience the salt room for 30 minutes and just do the full experience. And it was the best thing ever. It was the best thing to compliment what we had just done because seven chakra had completely relaxed me and I felt like I was really open to anything. And then not going straight out into the city and just back into the hustle bustle of the cold and everything, even though New York is a lot quieter than it was before, regardless. I was then able to be rejuvenated and I felt just so alive after I left. They actually do yoga in this room and Reiki sessions, which I want to go back and experience because I've never done a Reiki a session before in my entire life. If, you don't, if you're not into the seven chakra, seven sensory chakra, definitely check out the salt room because the salt room was ma absolutely mesmerizing and just a joy to be in. So what are my final thoughts when it comes to the experience well the seventh century chakra I, it's definitely something that i want to try a couple more times i think that choosing the heart chakra first i want to know what the other chakras feel like and the other frequencies that go with that chakra feel like i don't know if that experience will be the same every single time and how open i will actually be throughout the entire thing and like getting that done for the 30 minute experience it was 55 dollars, and it kind of goes up from there but with the membership it actually goes down a couple dollars i'll leave it right here with um the prices as well as in the description for you guys if you want to check it out and check out their website. But as I said before, I do believe the seventh sensory chakra is the highest form of meditation that you can get. I mean, I literally had never felt the way that I had felt in that meditation for 30 minutes than I have in like a couple months of doing meditation when I was doing it religiously last year. So I think it's even like a, a once a month type of thing as like a check-in and just completely getting out of your mind. That is something that I would for sure do again. And plus, what do you got to lose? You're only benefiting yourself. When it comes to the Himalayan salt room, 
I mean, I don't really have to say much more than that. It was visually stunning, first of all. It's $35 for 30 minutes when you're in there. It feels like this really nice, safe space for you to just be in. And also when you book the room for 30 minutes, you get the entire room to yourself. Unless you have, unless you book it with friends, you are alone in that room. So I think even for COVID times, it's perfect because you don't have to worry about like a rando being next to you if they don't want to comply with the six feet rules because it's just you in the safe space. They have music playing, very soft, melodic music. And it's just a way for you to just completely unwind. You can take your stuff and your belongings in the room with you so you don't have to leave it outside. You just have it in the corner by the door and you can just be one with yourself for 30 minutes. Oh my God, Aaron also told me that when you go into the Himalayan salt rooms, it also helps combat COVID symptoms. Now, obviously don't go there if you have COVID. Be respectful, keep yourself at home. Also wear a mask, just saying, okay? But if you go and you're feeling a little bit unwell, if you're, if you're done with COVID, obviously, then, and you're still feeling not really yourself, you can go into the salt rooms and the salt rooms are actually supposed to help to boost your immune system. So just throwing that out there as well. So all in all, I definitely, recommend going to modern sanctuary if you haven't checked them out i didn't realize how reasonable their prices were and their salon is just really well kept very private and it's a beautiful little sanctuary in the middle of the city if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up raise some comments down below if you have any thoughts and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep in touch and you can be a part of the charlene family see you guys with the next one see ya